What's going on, everyone? Welcome back into some Anno 1800. Now, I have been, uh, so it has been suggested to me that I remind everyone that this is a modded series. Uh, there, I do get questioned quite often, why does this look like that? Why does that look like that? Is this a new building that I have not unlocked yet? And the usually the answer is no, it's a mod. So yes, this is a modded series. I am going to remind everyone of that at the beginning of each episode going forward. So uh, just be prepared for a slight difference to the intro, just as a reminder to everybody. Uh, besides that, Bright Harvest is out. Yay! So happy, finally. I have been enjoying myself in early access, uh, been playing another save game of mine. I have a dirty little save on the side that I've been playing with. Um, but we are finally here in our main series. Uh, Mod Loader was quickly updated. Big thanks to X-Force, uh, aka Meow, over on the Anno Modding Discord, who was kind enough to quickly get the uh, Mod Loader updated so we could get back to playing our modded games. So, Bright Harvest, yes. All the good things to do here. Um, I do have guides and some overviews over on the channel if you are interested in seeing what all the game, the uh, DLC and the free Game 8 update had to offer. If you have not checked that out already, go do so now. All right, Starsborg here is going to be... Well, yeah, we're diving right on into this stuff. We're diving right into Bright Harvest. Starsborg is going to be the first center of our attention, because mostly because there's already oil on this island, and I don't have to try to bring oil over here. Now, when you first bring up Bright Harvest... Um, you need 300 workers. Obviously, I'm well past 300 workers, so we have unlocked the first quest. Uh, a, a problem that a lot of people have had, they're like, hey, I don't, I, I can't build anything yet. Where is everything at? You have to do the quests to continue to unlock for everything else. So our first quest is a sample silo. They want us to build a silo on any pig farm, specifically a pig farm, and get it working. So let's go find ourselves a, a filthy little pig farm here. This looks like a nice, filthy little... Uh, do I want that filthy pig farm? I want this filthy pig farm. Let's do this one. All right, nice, filthy pig farm. And you know what? Just because I know I already can, I'm going to delete a pig farm. Oh, that feels so good. God, it feels so good to be able to delete stuff sometimes. Yeah, you just You just don't even know. Sometimes it is so nice to delete things. And yeah, there's a several different layouts. This is one layout right here where you put the uh, pig farm the two by three long ways and you cr uh, branch everything that way. There is another layout that I can show a little later on. It's very easy to incorporate the silos into some nice even layouts for the pig farms. So let's get that going so we can unlock it. Um, actually, what I would like to see... Oh, you know what? Hold on. The thing is working at... 100% feed yard, the farm, animal park, the Pharos al Sarami, the working, actually the working conditions can be turned down now. I don't need those insane working conditions there. There we go. Okay. We can turn that down. So now, um, oh God, where's my calculator at? Proper job. We got it done. Okay. So we got the 100%. Plus the 70%, 550, uh, 14, and 100, 339%. So we do have an additional 139% on top of the silo, so that is good. Oh, it's so lovely. Okay, so, ah, uh, Master, it's no bother. The grain runs low for some reason. We'll manage without the silo just like we did before. I suppose you might see the numbers drop off until we can use it again, though. So that is a point to remember. Um, pigs. Piggy, piggy, piggies. All right, let's go through and start getting rid of some pig farms here. Uh, okay, we can take that out. And I know I had another layout for this, but now I can't remember what it was. So we'll just stick with that one for the moment. Put him back over in there. Okay. 
I'll just kind of keep an eye on our pigs for a few moments until I get the... Uh, it does take a few minutes to for the uh, next part to pop, basically. But once it does, you will unlock the grain farm quest to get a grain farm mechanized. So until then, let's just go and get some more silos put down on some of these pig farms here. You know what? Let's do a little something different with that one. Let's put it right there. Yeah, there we go. Doesn't have to be exactly next to it as long as it's touching it, so that one's down on the edge. I like that. Cool. Um, whose grain farm is that? Oh, it's his. Okay, I'm actually going to have to uh, make some adjustments to that because I don't... I did get rid of free farm field placement. Uh, it is causing some issues with the with. Uh, I mean, I said I was going to get rid of it anyways, but I hadn't gotten rid of it yet, and it was causing some problems. So yeah, free farm field placement is now officially gone from our game. And there was much rejoicing for the people who said it was cheating. Well, it really wasn't cheating to me, but you know, if you thought it was cheating, that's fine. You can think it's cheating all you want. Okay, there. And we have some new ornaments. Oh, the lovely new little ornaments. Um, Let's see, what, what kind of ornament do we want right here? Maybe some hay bales? Yeah, it's perfect. Some hay bales right in the corner right there. Haha, <laughs> I love it. I am, I am so happy to finally be able to uh, get into my actual main game right here oh there it is a new dawn for agriculture engines were onto farms all over the globe as the joint efforts of agriculturalists and engineers culminate in the creation of the tractor uh what can these motorized mastodons do for our economy we expect titus marner that would be me will once again chevron a path in the soils for others to follow so we want to test a a uh, tractor module on a farm. Well, guess what? I am quite okay with doing that. So we do need a to build a tractor barn. Again, that has to be built adjacent to a road. Uh, let's actually set it right back there, maybe? Oh, no. Let's put it right here. I'll also offer you the blueprints for the proposed fuel stations. Fuel stations refine oil into fuel and deliver it to all nearby tractor barns, provided there's a road connection. Pretty convenient, if I do say so myself. Yes. So, fuel is located under the engineer's tab. Oh, it does cost some windows, which I forgot to bring with me. Okay, let's just go grab some windows real quick. Um, no, I probably need several little deweys like this. Let's just grab a couple things. Uh, yeah, we do need some more, quite a bit more of this, just in case anything blows up on us. So the fuel station for this area, I think I'm just going to have it go, because this is kind of like my little hub right here, you could almost say. This is kind of like my little hub at the moment. So let's put it here. Yeah, I'll deal with that a little bit. Now this might cause a bit of an issue having them side by side, but we will see. Uh, while we're waiting for the windows to get down here so I can build that fuel station and get this stuff working, um, I know there were a ton of new ornaments that have come out. And I am just as excited as you guys are to see them in the game and to see them in action. And I am planning on live streaming uh, here within the next few days. Be on the lookout on YouTube, on the front page of your YouTube channel. Uh, bleh. Be on the lookout on your YouTube page on the front where the YouTube posts are at. God, that's a lot to say. Uh, check out, be on the lookout there and... Uh, Soon you will see a post from me detailing when that uh, stream is going to be. Yeah, newspapers back. Oh, that's another mod that I did get rid of was the uh, the one that uh, made the newspaper happen less, which I'm already seeing the effects of that. Let's do several things here. 
Uh, fire in post town. Oh, these things are exploding again. Okay. It from your cold, dead hands. I did get an airship built, so let's grab some timber. We need to go on. We need to go take some timber around and drop off. All right. Is he down here with all of our goodies? He is. Drop off. Upgrade that fuel station and deliver. And now we just have to wait for some fuel to be delivered, which might take a minute. Yeah, I have plans for the city. I may I am going to actually expand the uh, residential areas, and I'm probably going to get some artisans on this land, on this place, possibly just for the heck of it and make an industrial port. I want this to be like an agricultural industrial sort of area. Um, Y'all might think I'm crazy, but I'm probably, I don't know if I will mechanize um, Insulum de Aurum. I might leave it just like it is. What's going on here? Oh crap. Okay, I'll deal with that here in a little while. Just. Ah, I deleted a mod and I forgot to delete so part of it. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, I think I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be sort of like a, an industrial agricultural area. Yeah, trying to think how to describe how I want this to look. Who did I get? I've got Stephen McLeod. Okay, affects clay pits, saltpeter works, sand mines, and limestone quarries. Produces extra pearls and gold ore. Um, that's actually not too bad. I have several, I have a couple of sand mines right down here, although I am full on sand, so it really wouldn't get a whole lot of functionality out of it. I wish he could go into Harbor Master, though. That would be ideal. Is there anything I could put down here? Uh, don't really need the tallow. Shipyards, defense turrets, defense turrets, public moorings. Yeah, I don't have anything. And I really don't want to put them in here. So, yeah, I guess I don't really have anything for it at the moment. That's fine. But, yeah, I'm kind of thinking I'm probably going to end up pushing a lot of this. Oh, all right. Tractors are done. We'll certainly miss our dear little tractors if they run out of fuel, but I promise we'll go on working as we as if we would never had them, Master. All right, where did I do it? It's right here. There it is. Now, someone did point out this is not really, this is not a tractor. This is a harvest combine, which they are correct. That is a combine, not an actual tractor tractor. But hey, it's still mechanized. It still looks awesome. It still boosts our grain farms to a fantastic amount. This one's going to get to 364. I have seen someone that had one over like 600%. It was pretty ridiculous. But yeah, it is really cool. So, but yeah, Islam Day. I haven't decided if I'm going to mechanize this up here or not. I do kind of like it being just like a quiet, quaint little farming community up here and not so, and not mechanized or anything. So I don't know if I will or not. We're definitely going to have it down here, and I'm probably going to definitely do it up here in the vineyards and mechanize the vineyards with some tractors and stuff. So that's probably something I definitely will do. All right, so let's continue on. Uh, he does reach everywhere I need him to. Yes, he does. Fantastic. Let's get a few more tractor barns going. This one's going to reach in a funny way, isn't it? Oh, come on. Make it make it perfect. Make it perfect. Fine, I guess I'll be as perfect as I can get it. Okay. Um, do you reach over? Okay, he does not reach all the way over here. Okay, that is a good thing to note, is that he doesn't reach over to there, but he did reach down into these areas. Yeah. You do reach down here, and that's good. Let's 
let's see. I'll go there with it. Yeah, that'll work. How are we doing now on the uh, supply? 9 of 11. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at our pig farms here. What do we got? We got six pig farms total over here. Three of them have been boosted. This one over here has not. But I can probably just get rid of that one, actually. Truth be told. Uh, yeah, I don't really even care about North Happing getting anything because I know good and well that it is garbage! Alright. Silo on there. Let's uh, rearrange some of these real quick. There we go. Oh, there was something that somebody pointed out earlier that I didn't notice when I was doing my uh, overview stuff. You can now change the look of the uh, livestock areas. You can, you can change them to whatever you want them to look like. You shift V through them, and you can change them up. I thought that was really, really cool, actually. Uh, although, apparently I flipped them around the wrong way. There we go. Yeah, you can change up the fields. You also change up the uh, agricultural fields into whatever you want them to look like. It's pretty cool. Neat little addition. I thought that was, uh, I thought that was a little nifty. If I do seem so myself, I'm just a little nifty. Okay, yeah, I've got fields kind of everywhere is the problem. I don't know whose fields these all belong to. Okay, that was your field. Okay. All right, that was his. Okay, so, yeah. Too many... Too many fields going on here. Um, I'm gonna put the tractor farm attached to that. We'll bring that around to there. We'll move this barn right to here. Okay, if I can select this guy, that's who I want. 207? him out. That's fine. 216. There we go. Perfect. This has a nice little space right here for maybe a temperate grove. Just to kind of line the street, line it with right along that road. All right. How are we doing on everything? Doing very good on grain, pretty good on pigs. Let's check all of the rest of our, uh, not slaughterhouses, unless there are pig farms here. Okay, so he's got it. He does not, and he needs to go somewhere, somewhere else. I'm not, uh, not a fan of him right there. Let's put that right there, maybe? That'll work. Alright. I am going to yeah i'm going to get rid of this little barn this little bull uh i try to say flotsam and barn at the same time that did that did not work the way i wanted it to i'm gonna get rid of that little uh, barn right there that little storage building i wasn't uh wasn't feeling it anymore but yeah i started talking about the uh, stream earlier then i got distracted the, uh, the stream that I'm planning on doing, I would like to take some time to do a lot of decorating with all the new decorations and stuff. Uh, there's tons of new decorations, and they all looked absolutely fantastic. So I really would like to do some decorating with all of that. So that's kind of my plan for it for a stream it's just it's just gonna be a decorating stream so if watching me decorate is not really your cup of tea then that's kind of that's gonna be a stream that you can easily avoid uh, just not watch and you won't be missing much of anything because yeah I'll, I'll just be decorating in it 
I mean, I'm doing, I'm doing a little bit of decorating right now because, because I can, because it's kind of fun. We have so many little toys to play with. I mean, I, even like little things like that water tower right there just look fantastic in the middle of these these places. Oh, I had him electrified, and now he is no longer electrified, is he? You know, I can actually fix that real quick by doing this. Yeah, there we go. Do we seriously need this much sausage? Um, I'm producing 14 Crown Falls needs. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I do need that much sausage. Okay. All right. Well, I guess. Can I bump this up? It only gets me another minus three. It gets me up to uh, 17. Four. So I took... Let's take one of these guys right here out. What does that do? Okay, so that's okay. So we just decrease it by one, and it is uh, it is going to be okay. Clothes, though, yeah, we're we are definitely overproducing on the clothes. But I am going to expand the population on this island, so let's not take that out just yet move a couple things around possibly a little just a little just a little optimization stuff here and there that's needed just a bit not a whole whole lot I do have the uh, electric poles turned off so that's why I keep like going back and forth to the power plant because with the electric poles turned off I'm like and where exactly was the uh, the end of that that the uh, where I could build to, because now I've forgotten. Like, I kind of want to put these industries in town and leave these outside. Um, and I don't want him anymore. I do want this. Oh, the new level four warehouse. Oh, look at that thing. I love it. It looks so nice. Um, I actually like the color of it a lot more compared to the level three warehouse. I think it looks so much nicer. So, so much nicer. Um, and this right here, you know what? I'm going to uh, I'm gonna completely wreck a couple of things for a second here. Don't mind me while I completely destroy everything. Let's see. I could do... Okay, this... This. You're still electrified. You're still in range of everything. That's good. That can go there. Take this out. Pull you, pull you over to here. Pull you over to there. Okay. Because we have these new brick gate buildings which look fantastic which actually look really cool when you put them all the way around something like that hide that uh hide that dirty looking power plant behind a nice row of brick walls and we don't have to look at it anymore But it's like, oh, but what about all that empty space right there? Oh, well, there are so many more decorations. So many more. Like a water tower maybe for the train to use. Um, some oil tanks for storage. Okay. Got some oil tanks for storage. Maybe a, uh, a shed right here for, you know, reasons. Um, random cargo maybe. And then maybe we'll just fill the rest of it in with the new concrete uh concrete tiles and there we go we have a little like warehouse um little power plant center right there you know i don't know i'm just i just love all these new things that we have it's just 
I'm so excited for it all. Uh, yet yeah, one final look. I've forgotten how quickly this happens. It almost seems like it's happening too quickly. Or maybe it's just because I'm in fast forward. I don't know. Um, put some barrels right there and then maybe do that in front of it. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Now, my only request now is that we have train tracks that we can change out from the dirt underneath it to the concrete underneath it and then that all ties in and looks perfect that is my only other request right now other than that i am a satisfied customer so yeah there we go power plant is all taken care of and all blocked off now looks absolutely awesome i love it i love it so much uh he is full on the output that is fine Let's just check our numbers here. Yeah, we have so many pigs. Oh, wait, we're also... Oh, I forgot. So we are producing 16 pigs. We need 9 here. Crown Falls needs 7. Uh, 9 plus 7 is math. Um, God, you know, I just... I can't do math in my head. I just, I just have to stop. 16. Let's... Do I have any more that I have not gotten a... I think I... I think all of them have it. Have one now. Oh, here's a weird little bug, by the way, that, um, let me pause it. Yeah, let me pause that one and pause that one. Um, pause that. And then try to unpause it. And see if they deliver. Just come to the train. Yeah, there's a there is a bug right now with these things where it won't, it's not wanting to deliver the fuel. We'll just have to kind of wait and see, basically, if it delivers it. If it doesn't, it's fine. Um, I kind of know the solution to fix it. It's not. It's it's kind of a dirty fix. It's it's a it's a very dirty fix, but it works. So if I've got to do it, I'm gonna have to do it. So uh, let's put him over here, maybe. One, whoa, two, three, four, five, yeah. How thrilling! A renowned personage has arrived. Who did we get? We got Ch. We got me, him again. Not exactly who I was looking for. Let's toss ourselves down. Maybe. Uh, what do we want at the end of this one right here? Just a log pile? Yeah. I'll take a log pile. I'll take a log pile for a 700, Alex. And then over here, we can put maybe a clothesline and a scarecrow. I love it! Oh my god, I love decorations. Did I ever tell you, how, tell you guys how much I love decorations? Because I love decorations. Um, it's the slaughterhouse. That's the slaughterhouse. He's delivering over there, but he doesn't want to deliver over here for some reason. Keep an eye on him to see what he does. Yeah, because he, he's still asleep for some reason. Like, he doesn't want to go over there and take the oil. Over to these? Hmm. Okay, a solution I did find for this. Like I said, it's not a great solution, and I really don't do it. Let me try rebuilding that guy. He's just not interested in taking it down there. Uh, I hate to do this, but this is the solution that someone told me about. Um, we'll see if it works, actually, because I haven't actually had a chance to, uh, to test it myself. That is... Pause all of these. Shift-click to pause them all. We move this guy out of range. We move him back in range. And then we turn them all back on and then see what he does. 
I don't know if this works or not. This is just something that someone told me worked. A couple of people said it did. I don't know if it did or not, but we'll uh, we'll just keep an eye on it. So now I should be making more pigs. I'm making 18 now. That's good. That is that is sufficient for me. Yeah, he's still just sitting there like, you know, like these don't exist. The people celebrate your leadership. I mean, he's in range. He's just refusing to work. Okay. Then there's another solution to this that I got. I really was hoping not to have to do it this way. But it's looking like I might have to. So. Let me, uh, let's just go ahead and get the rest of our farm fields put in. Okay, so that one got one. That has one, that has one. That's got it, and that's got it. These three down here are not going to get one at the moment. Okay. Let me just make sure before I do this again. Yeah, it's still not working, so pause all of those. Oh, crap, I'm out of steel. I can't do this. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pause the recording real quick, guys, while I go get materials and bring them back, because that's all I need to wait on is more materials, and then we shall continue with mechanizing Starsborg. I will be back in just a moment. All right, guys, and we are back. Everything has... God, figures. As soon as I get started recording, we have an explosion somewhere. Well, it's actually a good thing because I did need to come up here and drop off a bit of timber as usual. Uh, so anyways, yeah, problem has been fixed over here. The, the solution to fixing it, now this is not ideal and I can't wait for them to fix the bug that's causing this, whatever it may be. Uh, well, we have some ideas of what it may be, but, you know, I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, but the solution that we have found that actually fixes it, if turning things off and on does not work, is to pause all of your tractor barns. Pause all of them on the island, destroy the fuel station, and then rebuild it. Uh, again, this should be fixed, hopefully, within the next few days, maybe within the next week or so, when they get the first uh, patch for for game update eight out and we get this dealt with uh, but until then one suggestion that i've been giving people is to not build a fuel station until you have all of the tractor barns built that you want for that island then do your fuel station for that area now you can build like i could build another fuel station down here and it would go and supply everything uh, but building a tractor barn within the range of your only fuel station that it could supply is going does cause problems it's it's very odd it doesn't make the biggest amount of sense but it is what it is so that's kind of what we're dealing with right now uh in the meantime while i was waiting for all that i, I did a little more decorating we have some of these new low walls this newspaper happens really really often you guys i think i might have to put the the mod back that turned that makes the newspaper happen a lot less because geez that is constant but yeah i did a little more decorating a little uh this is a low wall for a dirty old town a little water tower and some crates and barrels i think that's all they did just added a few trees in just just kind of i've been playing around a little bit i'm, I'm in love with these new decorations little signposts i mean it's just so much fun so much fun to play around with all these new dec uh, decorations I gave us. So yeah, I think other than these few farms down here, which I don't really want to stretch my oil supplies too far. I don't really think I want to do that just yet. Um, one oil well can supply um, one fuel station so that is a uh, that is a number that you can kind of keep in your head is one oil well supplies one oil station we do have a quest right here though uh bloody hounds okay we haven't seen this one in a while no i don't want to thing with you go away 
I haven't seen this one in a long time. Let's go see if we can't find those stray dogs real quick. And then we'll get to this quest over here that has been sitting there that I'm sure a few people are like, go do that quest. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Hold on. I had to put it on a statue first. That was a, that was very crucial to have that statue put in. Where's these stupid, stupid dogs? Now, since I have people like red, like farmers kind of all over the place, he could technically be anywhere. Um, this is the area it's pointing me to, but I don't rightly trust it. Half the time I never find. There they are. They're right next to the quest giver. Uh, I got a livestock farmer. Okay, I'll take it. All right, so one island fixed. Very, very quick and easy. Very simple to do. I absolutely love it. Um, probably not going to worry about doing much over here on the sheep farm. I might app stick. Uh, well, I can't now because I can't even do uh, grain over here. So there's really no point. And these things don't. It's not like they take a lot of workforce. They take four with all of my buffs on there with that with a livestock farmer this is kind of a whatever i don't care isla de orum i have to think about it i really do just kind of like it being a simple little farming community so i might just leave that for the time being no i think that's our only other island around here at the moment and that's her island yeah other than that i just have the grain the uh, grapes and stuff up here that we can go deal with but let us go take a look at the floating city, a big ask. Let's head on over there and do this. Okay. Let's go ahead and sail the absolute wrong way. Ooh, they have another battleship for sale. I don't really need another battleship right now. It's fine. And he's way over here for some reason. We'll just use the monitor. This is this is good enough. The monitor will work. I do know one thing that I am gonna have to do. Go ahead and prepare for it. Uh, yes, I will do that. So I'm gonna need some of that. And that reminded me that. Hold on. Just hold on. I'll do that in just a second. Okay, non-aggression pack has been signed with her. That is all good. Okay, now, let's do this. Sail back over. Yeah, here we go. Uh, I have lost Mr. Bargava's plans for the Great Eastern, delaying her launch yet further. The taxpayers are begging to see the dream come alive, but first the prototype the prototypes hit every hitch, and now this. Poor Rowit has, has to start afresh and has asked for photographs of the World's Fair. Okay, easy enough. Let's take pictures of our World's Fair here. Like, I have a million pictures of my World's Fair. Whoa, what's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, take a picture of the World's Fair. There. That was odd. Okay, there's there's the steps. Take the steps. I am quite penetrated by your kindness. Okay. Ready, Admiral. Now, I have done this several times, by the way. Just, uh, just FYI. Righty ho. Go. All right, let's click on the clipper. Uh, good news, Mr. Bargava has finished the news, uh, finished the new plans for the Great Eastern. Though somehow I knew I'd be punished for losing the originals. In the new design, the ship appears to have grown bigger still. Sadly, Crown Steel reserves are rather low, but perhaps you have some to spare. Yes, I do. More delays to launch the Great Eastern. The propeller is just so massive. Believe me, I've seen it at close quarters. That it had overturned an imperial tugboat. Do you think you might be able to help retrieve the propeller? I can do that. Where is it at? Oh dear God! Well, I'm glad I have a clipper right here. <laughs> Let's go get the propeller. Um. Okay. So over here, probably going to 
mechanize uh, escoping here. I do need some more oil. Hey, Benta, you have a an absolutely lovely island full of oil right here that I could that I desperately desperately need. So is this one. No oil there. Or there. Yeah, she's got all the good oil islands. I only got one. I should have gotten. I should have taken more islands. <laughs> should have taken more islands early on. Dang it. Okay. Well then. How much oil do we have here? We have a little bit. I could. I could just transport a little bit of oil up here. Because it doesn't. It's not. Like I said, it's not going to take much. Um, okay, you've got the propeller. Good. Let's bring that back down to Archie. Uh, I want this cargo ship right here. Thank you. I'm going to take this little uh, cargo ship right here. And I'm also going to upgrade and get rid of... I, I, I've always disliked this trading post right here. You know, it's yellow. It just looks funny. I don't like it. I like that. I think it looks beautiful. I think it looks colorful. Um, new favorite building has been confirmed. And it's a warehouse of all freaking things. But anyways. I am going to pick up some building materials. And I think I'm just going to go uh, build an oil harbor over here. And prepare a fuel station set up up here. Okay, oil refinery oil harbor um let's get it in uh let's deal with this mess first okay you can come over here you come to there let's maybe put the uh oil harbor right there Oh, y'all are fine. Y'all are fine. Just hush. There. And, and I'm out of building materials. Of course. Okay, let's grab a couple of things here. Let's grab some of that. Let's grab some of that. Let's grab some of those. Okay, we'll take all of that up here to Escoping to drop off. I need to do a little redesign up here anyways. Not uh, not super happy with the layout of this little island at the moment. I mean, it works, but I'm just not uh, not thrilled with it. Yeah, we'll put that there. I'll probably stick the fuel station like right over and probably right about here near this central warehouse and kind of get it right about there. That'll let it reach most of the farms. I mean, it doesn't have to reach every single farm. I just needed to reach most of the farms. Uh, where is our ship at that has the item on it? Where are you? Oh, you're still way over there. Okay. All right. Let's unload some stuff here. Let's go right here and go pick up some more goodies. He is ready to be built. Good deal. Good deal. And good deal. There we go. Perfect. Although, oh no, never mind. It won't fit like that. Um, let's put him there. Let's move him back one. There we go. 
That's more like it. Okay, I can deal with this. Yeah, this is okay. Now. Wait, where did you all go? Oh, you're, I was like, where did I get another one from? Yeah, no, it was just the same one. Some more of that, some more of that, and some more timber. I think that would be pretty good. There it is. Archie is keen to know if the propeller is in one piece. Oopsies. Come on. Uh, the propeller has been debarnacled and fitted, and I must say it does look splendid. However, Mr. Parkava and I have since crossed swords over a lack of power in the engine room. Um, it seems... It seems that such, to turn such a massive propeller, equivalent oomph is needed from the engines. You may have to help poor beleaguered Archie lay his hands on some bigger pistons. Okay. Well, I have already prepared for that. And put a few here. So let's go deliver those 40 steam motors. Okay. Uh, I do need to get this thing right here at least upgraded once. And then I'm going to delete some of these just because we are going to be expanding all of that here soon. If I put him here, yeah, he does reach most of the farms that I would like for him to. Yeah, so this right here will be where I want him to go. That's what I thought. I thought I had a bunch of the this stuff put in there. Let's destroy all that real quick. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. We're just gonna. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna have to do a quick bit of a redesign here. Make a little bit of necessary room. Perfect. All right, so this could just go to there. That to there. Brought some joy. And apparently there is one tree in the way. There we go. Perfect. Okay, he is mad. We can unmad him. Like so. Uh, yeah, he is mad. Let's fix that. Yeah, I know, Archie. You just gonna have to hold on a second, buddy. Trying to fix some farms here. Okay, there we go. That'll be okay for the moment. Uh, yes, I do have... Yes. Ah, yes, all those piston arms firing perfect sync. Thank you. Now, if you cross all your toes and fingers and don't sneeze, then the Great Easter may finally be ready to leave the dry dock. Uh, yes, after almost an entire year of being absolutely teased, we finally get the stupid thing. We got some hedge mazes and some, some little rewards and everything for that. Now, I do need... Oh, there it is. Finally, the Great Eastern is afloat. Please do keep her. I have had quite enough of her, and frankly, Her Majesty has lost interest too. Don't be surprised to find Mr. Bargava aboard. He has, after all, a most positive impression of you, and is rather keen to further work with you again in the future. So we got the uh, Rohit Bargava, the naval architect, which I thought was a unique... Uh, was a, a, a new legendary, but someone told me he is not. So whatever he is, there we are. And we have the Great Eastern named the Europa. Mm, no, not, it's not going to be the Europa. Uh, it's just, this is going to be... All perfectly legal. Oh, I don't know. Oh, God. 
no, 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 no. There we go. The Sligo. Sligo is the name of the uh, the horse that I uh, that I take care of. So Sligo is my little. My, she's my she's my friend. She's my buddy. She's my horse buddy. So she. This is the Sligo. So yeah, got the Great Eastern. Lovely little ship. Let's let's slow things down. Take a look at it real quick. Quite quite lovely. I, I I personally think it's a cool looking ship. Some people hate it. They think it's stupid looking. I like it. So that's just my personal opinion is that it does look rather cool. So yeah, 11.8 movement speed with the 7% buff. Nice hit points. It does cost 10 influence. That was the thing that I was not aware of. It does actually cost influence, even though you don't spend it directly. At first, it does cost 10. Does it kind of steep in the cost? Um, nice little amount of hit points, though. Eight cargo slots. That's awesome. I'm so gonna send him back to Cape Trelawney because he is going to be one. Uh, I'm using him as an expedition ship. Uh, you can use him for whatever you want, really. But I just prefer to use him for expeditions. Uh, there is a cargo tanker. Perfect. Needs, and what I'm gonna have him do is go between North Happing. And Escoping, I'm just going to have him pick up, not 400, I'm just going to have him pick up like 25. And then unload the maximum amount. I'm just going to have him do that instead, just to pick up a little bit and drop it off, just because they are so close to each other. Okay, I think we've got all of that done. Goodness gracious me. And we're already at an hour, but hey, guess what? We still have a World's Fair we're trying to build here. Let's finish that phase. And let's get the, the, the next phase going, which I do need to bring over a whole lot of steam motors and a bunch of wood veneers for this one. So I'm not even going to... I'll go ahead and start the phase, but... We aren't going to be building it anytime soon because I need a lot of steam motors and wood veneers over here. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this episode. We have our first island all set up and ready to go over in Cape Trelawney, being all mechanized with tractors and silos going. We're going to get Escoping done in the next episode and get it all taken care of and decrease some of these uh, crazy hop farms spam. And then maybe expand our population over here a bit. Maybe even bring in, I don't know, some artisans or something. It might get a little spicy. I don't know. It might have a little fun with it. Once we get Escoping done, we're going to hop back to Cape Trelawney and work on the grape farms up here. And get the grape farms all uh, sorted out and get them all taken care of. And then we'll... <laughs> Then comes the fun part, because we're going to go to the New World, and we're going to fix all this mess of the New World with all these farms. Yeah, I'll, I'll deal with you once more. Come on, buddy. Just uh, take some propaganda and get out of my face. Uh, but yeah, we're going to deal with... This up here is not bad with the, co with the cotton. We don't need much of it. But this... This island right here is going to be the, uh, the first that gets adjusted for maximum efficiency we're going to be going in here and changing up all the coffee plantations and decreasing the number of them getting some more uh, items in there to boost production on them all and make them super super nice so hope you will join me for that one and i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did go ahead and leave a like down below comment let you know let me know what you think about the new uh, bright harvest dlc um, are you enjoying it? Do you hate it? What do you like about it? What you, don't you like about it? What are you hoping for in future DLCs? Let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care.